Hey guys, what is up and welcome back or welcome if you are new to my channel. I love doing these gift idea videos. Every year since my daughter was born, I believe I've done one. So I'm going to link my years past ones down below. Anything that I mentioned in this video will be listed in the description box. So you guys can go ahead and check that out if you're interested. Um, and I also do have an Amazon storefront where I list and like link so many other things. Uh, from books to household items, our favorite toys, must-haves, and all of the above. So I definitely love to search for gift ideas for little ones. I put a lot of effort into searching for things that I think that other kids will enjoy and that will not be just a waste of money that will not get played with. So I hope you guys enjoy and appreciate um, these videos. My daughter is five years old, so I would say these gifts are good for uh, four-year-olds, five-year-olds, maybe even six-year-olds as well. If you guys have children in that age range, a lot of the items that I'm going to mention um, are unisex. Some of the items that I had purchased are still not here yet and they are on their way, but I'm still going to talk about them because I wanted to get this video up for you guys before Black Friday in case you are searching for deals and you want to get some good discounts and ideas ahead of time to know what you are looking for. Amazon has the best advent calendars for kids. So what I'm going to do with Sydney's is I'm going to have her elf bring it on day one. We don't start the elf thing until December 1st. And so this will be a perfect first day um, advent calendar. And then this one is the unicorn one. It has like unicorn bracelets and slap bracelets, necklaces, hair clips, and things. I have not opened it, but they have all kinds. They have a Play-Doh one. Um, pop it fidget ones as well um and i believe this was about 16 dollars when i got it on sale so definitely check out amazon's advent calendars if that's something fun that you want to do with your little one um if you don't you know you can totally make them yourself too or do like the chocolate ones that we used to have when i was a kid but i just loved the idea i think it'll be so fun for my daughter and um fairly inexpensive too so i was really pumped to find that okay so the first item is large it is this giant monster truck um, they have different sizes they have smaller ones and they have even larger ones as well I got the middle size and they have also different um, I don't know anything about monster jam so I don't know these characters they have different colors different characters different animals I guess I don't know I ended up getting the shark one and um, it is a remote control um, truck and I thought she would absolutely love this because a lot of her friends have remote control uh, either cars or items and she's constantly like wanting to take a turn or or just have one for herself so I thought this was a really cute idea it can be played with inside and outside and supposedly this one is pretty good with going over things so even in the winter here when it gets like icy or snowy we're not gonna have to worry about her not being able to play with it whatsoever because it's like this tiny low to the ground thing. Hopefully she can still use that um, outside, but I got this on a really good deal. So absolutely, if you are in the market for like a remote control vehicle, definitely check this one out. Look for a Black Friday deal on this um, if that is something that interests you. But I don't know, I think she's just gonna absolutely love that. Again, I think they have a pink one, but I just went with the shark because she loves sea creatures right now. Legos, okay. Sydney doesn't have any Legos at all, but so many of you guys mentioned on Instagram that your child had Legos on their wish list. And I thought that this was a really good kind of like beginner kit or starter kit for the younger ones. Um, and like I said, she doesn't have any Legos. She had like giant Legos when she was little, um, but nothing of like the real ones. So what this kit is, it's a classic kit, but it has all of these like C items so we have a whale a pirate ship um i don't even know what that is a little submarine a turtle a little like hello sea plane what is that a parrot because it's a pirate thing anyway adorable right it's for four plus and it has 333 pieces um and so i think that this would be good for boys and girls for um four-year-olds, five-year-olds, six-year-olds, and this was fairly inexpensive. 
What I didn't realize when you all told me that Legos were on your kids list were how expensive Legos can be. I had no idea they could be crazy expensive. This one I think is sitting around it was like 15 when I got it maybe night maybe like 20 originally um but I just absolutely love that this kit is under the sea because like I said Sydney loves the under the sea thing and it's something that she can you know take apart rebuild reuse play with the figures once she puts that together and get really good use out of it and plus it's one of those stem toys so they're really using their fine motor skills and their thinking skills when they're learning how to build these things as well so dual purpose they can play and it's it's educational and like good for them as well speaking of building things so i got her this i wonder if i can open it i got her this kit um of yes of these little plastic uh they're called stem blocks okay so there's these little okay anyway they're these little plastic uh blocks that you can snap together and make structures with um again with the stem toys and she, she can like use her imagination and make whatever she wants she can make bracelets, jewelry, uh, animals, any shapes, anything that she wants. Um, wow. Now I have to go pick these up. Anyway, I love that they come in a tub too, so that you can keep them contained and that they're kind of an endless play toy. Um, like blocks and things have always been such, such a wonderful gift because they can build things, take them down and build something else. Not just like a one and done toy where they do it and then it's done forever. I know that these were a really, really good price um, on Prime Day. And so I am imagining they'll be a really good price on Black Friday as well. So keep those in mind. Let's see. This is kind of her like big bigger Santa gift and I low-key want this for myself. So I did get her one of those uh, Fujifilm Instax Mini 11 Polaroid cameras and our friend's daughter has one and she absolutely loves it and it's so adorable to see her Polaroids. She like tapes them up and takes pictures of her family or and her dog and and all of that and so I just thought Sydney would absolutely love this. She She's really into taking pictures. She does have one of those cheaper ones that I got like a digital one but I think she's gonna love that this one is an instant gratification one where the photo pops right out. So of course I do have to go ahead and buy her some Fuji film. I have some in my cart um, uh, that have like mermaid colored frames. They have all kinds of different colors, patterns. They have kits that come with them as well. Absolutely recommend looking for a good deal on this. I believe when I purchased it, it was $59.95, which was the lowest I've ever seen it um, since I started looking. And so I did get her the pink one. They have blue, white, purple, pink, lots of different options. Um, and I just thought that this will be like her bigger, her nicer gift. Um, yeah. So apparently this year is like all about the building uh, things. I got her a floor puzzle. So she has a unicorn floor puzzle and she plays with that all the time. And she actually, it's become like just a fixture in our house because she wants to build it and then she wants to have the unicorn be out like on display and then eventually she'll take it down and then rebuild it again um but so i did get her the mermaid one i know they have a bunch of different options and different types of floor puzzles but i really enjoy our unicorn one which is the exact same brand um and so i gravitated towards this because i know that i like the other one it's a 41 piece puzzle so depending on your child's abilities they can use this this is three plus so depending on your child's abilities um that would be an awesome gift and this one's just a little mermaid one so cute so this one is more educational these are the counting math blocks they're called math link cubes um and i got these for a stocking stuffer but i didn't realize how wide the packaging is so we'll see if that like i could figure that out shove it in her stocking uh, so basically these are just plastic little cubes that can you can pop them together they're really good for learning math skills counting and um what do you call it i'm so bad i'm so i'm so glad i'm not a teacher because i don't even know 
um, like recognizing one-to-one -one concepts and when you visually see three blocks you instantly know that's three instead of having to count one by one uh, so these are gonna be just a nice little educational thing for her to have and I do believe they have them at her school as well she comes home since she's been in kindergarten she comes home and she talks about all of these learning toys that she plays with at school and she loves them and she's actually asked for a few of them for christmas and so um these were really inexpensive as well this one is more on the fun side i like i said i try to stick with you know multi-purpose educational fun but you will useful toys uh this one's more fun um i got these hover soccer balls so i this is a two pack because I did get them for my friend's child, children as well, and I have one for Sydney. So basically these are rechargeable by USB. There are some that take like eight batteries. So when you are clicking on the links, double check if that is something that you wanna do, or if you <laughs> prefer to just charge it by USB. So what this is, it's, uh, oh yeah, double-sided, because I got two. Um, so what this is, is basically a little hover soccer ball, just like it says. And you can use it on like hardwood floor or maybe in um, your garage or something. I don't know about outside how that would do. I know it says on reviews you have to have a really flat, smooth surface. And so I just thought this would be like a fun little toy for them to play with inside. They can gently nudge it around, maybe in a, a goal net or just have fun with that. And these, these came in the set of two. And I think it was like $23 for two of them. So if you have a, you know two children and you have to get duplicates of everything really good price uh ends up being like 11 dollars each or something like that so a really good price for just one of those fun toys maybe get some energy out on a rainy day when we're stuck inside or something um okay and then i'm going to mention a couple of things that i've already purchased but i do not physically have with me here i was like really hoping they would come in time but they did not so I ended up getting Sydney one of the unicorn acrylic night lights and oh I'm dying to see it in person there's it's unicorn and I believe it changes colors and I had it uh, engraved with her name on it they have dinosaur ones as well that would be perfect for a little boys room and they have you know come in different colors and it's just one of those things Sydney's at the age where now she's starting to develop a little bit of a little bit of a fear of the dark you know she just she just needs that night light or that glowing something um and so i thought this would be absolutely perfect for her room unicorns are everything they still are everything i think i said that last year um and so i ended up getting that from an etsy shop the shipping was very it came from the uk i believe and it should be here any day now and i just ordered it a week ago so shipping was not bad at all but anything that you order from etsy you have to do it like immediately just because you never know with shipping and you know if they're making these things handmade you know they're a small shop most likely and so if you're buying anything from etsy like do it immediately <laughs> Um, speaking of Etsy, I did buy another item um, for her friend and for Sydney as well. I got these adorable bracelets and um, I thought that these would be, this. I thought originally it was going to be a stocking stuffer and I was like, wait, I got her friend one. They can't be a stocking stuffer. You, you gotta think of these things ahead of time. You know. Anyway, um, I just thought this was really cute. It's super washed out from here. You can't even see. I'm going to do a close up of it. But basically, it's this little stretchy bracelet that has all kinds of little rainbow uh, beads on it and a unicorn charm. And it has her name spelled out. So they have a bunch of different items. You can do it with the charm without dif different colors. They have gold ones. Um, they have a flamingo and like a smiley face charm as well. I just like that this is personalized and something that Sydney's really into now is jewelry. It was so cute. We went to a birthday yesterday and Sydney grabbed a bracelet for her and a bracelet for the birthday girl and um, gave that to her friend. So that is like her thing right now is getting a little girly dressed up. And then another couple of items that are not here yet uh, is a geo board. This is something that was not on my radar at all, but apparently they have them at school in her classroom and she loves it. She was just falling asleep and woke up and had to come back downstairs to remember to tell me that she wanted this for Christmas. 
Um, and she said, it's a geo board. I just remember the name of it. Her teacher calls it that. And I was like, a geo board. Okay, let me look it up. So I pulled up a couple of pictures and I'm like, is this what you're talking about? And she said, yes. So I ended up getting her that. I love it. I love the fact that she wants these educational toys. It's fun for her because she can create shapes and designs and play, but it's also very educational and um, really good for her. So I definitely got her the geo board that will be coming tomorrow in the mail. And then I just have a couple more like stocking stuffers here. Um, I got her this sticker book. It has 1,000 stickers in it and they have several different types and themes. Uh, this one is animal stickers. We love stickers. You can never have enough. So I thought that that would be a really good um, stocking stuffer for her. And then also on the girly side, I got her this tube of uh, lip gloss for a stocking stuffer. I got this at Ulta for just a couple dollars. She's very into lip gloss and chapsticks and um, uh, the necklaces and the bracelets and all of that so I thought this one was cute it's like a little shimmer one dark pink and light pink she's probably gonna use that all up and then I got her this I randomly found this at Nordstrom I have to take it out of the plastic but it's a little jelly belly like uh, gumball machine dispenser but it's jelly beans she has been asking for a gumball machine because I think her friend has it, but we don't really, we don't do gum. But I thought she would love this because it's the same exact concept and she still gets a treat that she can eat. And um, I don't know, I thought that was really cute. Nordstrom, random, kind of random. Uh, some other things that I want to grab Sydney are some games that we can play together. The headbands game where you wear the little headband and you have this picture and the person has to you like ask questions and the person has to describe it and you have to guess what it is Sydney and I will totally love playing that so I want to grab her the headbands game um one of her favorites right now is trouble and she loves um zingo as well trouble and zingo are the two most played games that we have and so I highly recommend those if you don't have them for your little one four or five six year olds those are a must in our uh, household. And then there's also another one, I believe it's at Target, it is a family bingo. So I definitely wanna grab some games for her and I to play with. We always do a game pretty much every single night after dinner, uh, before bath or after bath. We are always playing a game and it's such a good bonding moment for you to have with your child. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for using my links. Um, they are affiliate links, so I earn a small commission if you do shop through those links, and I so, so appreciate it because I do put a lot of effort into, you know, finding these items and then linking them and really, you know, not just throwing everything on the list, but really kind of thinking uh, what are good items for other children. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will talk to you in the next one. Bye.